Hi, I'm Jamie, and I'm going to be showing you some problems today using an abacus. We're going to be working in base 10 to begin with, and we're going to be adding 327 plus 586. And the first thing that we're going to do is represent 327, and we need 7 ones, 2 tens, and 3 hundreds. Now, I need to add 6 to the ones place, but I've only got these three B's left. And what I can do is I can go ahead and add those three, but now I have to borrow from the tens place. So we're going to borrow that represents this 10. So we're going to reset. And as, since I had added those last three, I just need to add three more to make six. So that's going to give us three ones. Now, looking at the tens place, I had to, we borrowed one, and that leaves me with seven. But I need to add eight. So, again, I can bring all seven down. That gives us ten tens, but I need to borrow. So, we're going to borrow, reset, and since I had seven left, and I need to add eight, I'm only going to bring one down, giving us 110. Now let's look at the hundreds place. We had three hundreds. We borrowed one, and I've only got to add five. And I've got enough beads that I can do that without having to borrow from the next line. So we're going to bring five down. And it gives us 913. Now, our next problem is going to be subtracting with base 10. And I've done wrote out the problem, and I've done worked and got the answer, but I'm going to show you how I got it. So, the first thing we're going to do is represent 612. We need two ones, one ten, and six hundred. Now, in the ones place, I need to go ahead and say I need to take away from the 10. And that gives us the 10 there. And this makes 12. And I'm subtracting 4. So it's only going to leave me to put 8 here. Now, we were zeroed out in the tens place because we had to take away. So, yet again, I'm having to take away from the hundreds place. So, we're going to move this one back down, and that gives us 10. And we can safely say that 10 minus 5 is 5. So, we're just going to bring 5 beads down. Now, looking at the hundreds place, we started out with 6 beads, and we had to take one away to help the tens place. And I've only got to subtract two, and I can very easily take two more away, which leaves us with 358 on our abacus. Now, next we have an abacus using base four, and we're going to add 113 plus 212. And the first thing that we're going to do is represent 113. So, we need three ones. One, ten, and one hundred. Now, I need to add two to our ones place, but I've only got one bead left. So I need to borrow from the tens. So we're going to bring one down. And since I borrowed, we can take these two back. And that just leaves us one in our ones place. Now, 
we started out with a hundred and we borrowed so that gives us two and I need to add one and I've got enough beads up here that all I do is just bring one down and it gives us three tens then going to the hunters place we have one and I only need to add two and again I have enough beads up here that I don't have to borrow from the next line over and I can just bring two down and it gives me 331 now if I wanted to turn this back around and subtract it so we can go back to what we started with 113 what I would do was is we have one here and we need to take away two and just bring back our two that we started with and that gives us back our three and we go to tens place we had three we had to take one away and I only need to subtract one more and it gives us one one in the hundredth place where we started off with one and add two we ended up with three and then to subtract and get back to one I don't have to take away from anything I've got three I only need to take two away so we can just bring two more back up at the top and we're left with 100 again so we're back where we started with 113